Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we have an exciting video for you as we compare three popular streaming devices. The Amazon Fire TV Stick 4K Max, the Google Chromecast with Google TV 4K, and the Xiaomi TV Box S 2nd Gen. While the Fire TV Stick 4K Max and Chromecast with Google TV 4K have been on the market for a while now, the Xiaomi TV Box S 2nd Gen is a fresh contender this year. It's a good time to revisit these devices and see how they stack up against each other. In this video, we'll dive into the features, pros, and cons of each device and discuss why some users may prefer one device over the others. And with that, let's get started. First. Let's have a quick rundown of each device so that it'll be easier for us to compare them later. The Fire TV Stick 4K Max is Amazon's most powerful streaming stick. It boasts a vast app library, giving you access to all your favorite streaming services, games, and more. One of its main features is the convenience of voice control with Alexa integration, allowing you to navigate and control your entertainment hands-free. It's one of the top choices for those deeply invested in the Amazon ecosystem. Next, is Chromecast with Google TV 4K. Currently, this device is Google's top-of-the-line media streaming device. It offers a personalized user experience with its content recommendation system and extensive Google services integration. And finally, the Xiaomi TV Box S 2nd Gen which was released in April of 2023. This is Xiaomi's follow-up device to the popular Mi Box S 4K. We have also featured this device in some of our previous videos so please make sure to check them out if you haven't seen them yet. So now that we've quickly checked out all the devices, it's time to list out the features that are common among them. First as all of them offers up to 4K resolution with HDR Plus and Dolby Vision support. They also support Dolby Atmos Audio but this only works if you're using HDMI pass-through, and is heavily dependent on the streaming app and the content being viewed. Some people have also reported that they were able to make DTS work, but since it's not listed on these devices' official spec sheet, making it work is a hit or miss. All of these devices have Bluetooth remote which means they don't require line of sight for control, but they also have infrared functionality allowing them to be used as universal remote for TV, soundbars and receivers. They all have 2GB of RAM and 8GB internal storage, which may be low if compared to other devices, but it's quite adequate for these devices' main purpose, which is streaming and media playback. And with that point, all of them have an operating system that is based on Android, which means they have a good number of available applications. And it also opens up the possibility of side-loading other applications through manual install. These are the common features among these devices but most important of all, all of these devices normally retails at around 50 US dollars price point, which means they are directly competing against each other in the same category. So now that we have discussed about their common features, let's talk about each of the device's pros and cons, and see why you may want to pick one over the other. Let's start with Amazon Fire TV Stick 4K Max. The most notable feature about this device is its Wi-Fi 6 support. Among the three devices, this is the only device that supports the newer generation Wi-Fi standard. This means this device is more future-proofed in terms of connectivity, but of course, you'll also need to have a Wi-Fi 6 router to gain the benefits of having a better and more reliable connection. The next feature that is unique to this device, is Alexa and Echo devices integration. Alexa is our personal choice for virtual assistant technology and having integration with it, allows for convenient smart home control. If you also have existing Echo speakers at home, the Fire Stick can also be paired to some of them, to function as a home theater system. And lastly, we like this device's fast and fluid user interface. Here's a short clip of Fire TV OS and Google TV side by side. The UI is very similar but browsing through the home screen feels smoother and much fluid in the Fire TV. The main reason for this, is because this device is running a custom build of Android, specifically optimized for Amazon's platform. Which brings us to the first con of this device. Limited customization options. The Fire TV home screen is consists of the banner on top, then followed by your six favorites app, then your recent app and recent content that you've watched, and finally Amazon's recommendations. 
The only thing that you can customize here is the favorite apps section. This may be enough for some but this limitation is linked to the next con, which is, this device is a bit Amazon-centric for our taste. The home screen is ad-ridden, often promoting Amazon content. There's simply no way to turn this off and you will need to learn to live with it if you want to use this device. And lastly, obviously, this device has limited ports. It has an older micro USB port used to power the device. The good thing is you can use a powered OTG adapter on it, to connect other USB devices such as a wired LAN adapter or a USB drive. And that's it for the pros and cons of Amazon Fire TV Stick 4K Max. Let's move on to the next device. The most important pro for Google Chromecast with Google TV 4K, is this device itself, is a Google device. This means immediate access to the latest Android TV or Google TV software updates. Among the three devices, the Chromecast is also the most aesthetically pleasing. Though the unit itself is just a dongle that plugs into the back of your TV, it's apparent that Google have put some thought on its physical design. Even the remote looks good and we don't mind seeing it lying around the living room. And finally, it's good that it's using a USB-C port for power. USB-C is the industry standard now and should be one of the considerations when buying a device. Having said that, this device still only has a single port, which means out of the box, you cannot expand your storage options or plug in additional accessories. The good thing is you can use a USB-C hub adapter such as this one to add connectivity to the device. This hub in particular, adds two full-sized USB-A ports, a wired LAN port and a couple of card readers. Also, we have this device for a while now and it's been running fine since we got it. However, we felt like the CPU is starting to show its age now, after the last few software updates. The device is running on a recent version of Android tvOS 12 build and we have noticed that the UI performance is not as smooth as the other two devices. And lastly, this may be nitpicking for some, but we're really not a fan of the placement of the volume buttons in the remote. The volume buttons are on the side and they're quite small. And because the remote is rounded, and you need quite a bit of pressure to press the volume buttons, your thumb can easily slip. So that's it for our pros and cons for Google Chromecast with Google TV 4K. Now let's move on to our final device which is the Xiaomi TV Box S second gen. The biggest pro of this device is it has the newest processor among the three. It is faster than both the Chromecast's and the Fire TV's CPU, since it is the newer device. Another pro is the inclusion of a full-size USB port. This allows you to directly plug in a host of accessories such a USB drive, wired LAN adapters, and USB keyboards and mice. Speaking of ports, its audio output port is another pro. It provides alternative options of connecting to speakers and soundbar, using either analog or digital optical connection. Now let's move on to the cons of this device, being the first is its lesser software features. Though this device is newer, it's still running on Android tvOS version 11 which is one full version older than the one installed on Chromecast. It's also missing the implementation of auto framerate feature which the other two devices have. Though it has a full-size USB port, it is still using the older USB 2.0 standard. This is simply unacceptable for a device released in 2023. And lastly, we don't like the round DC barrel port that is used for power input. A USB-C port is ideal here similar to how it is implemented in Google Chromecast. That's all for the Xiaomi TV Box S second gen's pros and cons. And now that we've seen all three devices, which one do you think is the one to pick? But before we reveal our verdict, please let us know in the comments what are your personal thoughts about these devices. If you also think that these videos are helpful, we would appreciate if you can hit the like and the subscribe buttons to support our channel. The Amazon Fire TV Stick 4K Max, Google Chromecast with Google TV 4K and Xiaomi TV Box S second gen are all great devices. Each has something unique to offer for different types of individuals. If you're someone who's already heavily invested in Amazon services and already have a few Echo devices around the house, then the Amazon Fire TV 4K Max might complement your setup the best. If you're more into having the latest software feature set, and is concerned about how your media device looks in your home setup, then the Google Chromecast with Google TV might be your best bet. 
If you often play content from an external storage device, or if you have an older soundbar or receiver with still an optical or analog input, then Xiaomi TV Box S second gen is the choice for you. We also think that it is the best option for most people that don't have specific requirements, especially that it is the newest product of the three. So that's it for our comparison of these three devices. Note that they only belong to the mid-range category of these kinds of devices. If you want some of the top-of-the-line products, you may also want to check out the Amazon Fire TV Cube, the Apple TV 4K and Nvidia Shield TV. We hope that you find this video useful. Again, thanks for watching and see you in the next one.